Access to safely managed sanitation is a human right, such as the right to education or health. Today in West Africa, 75% of the population still do not have access to improved sanitation services. In Senegal, 60% of urban population use on-site sanitation facilities. This results in a significant production of fecal sludge that is most of the time dumped without proper treatment into nature. Fecal sludge is a combination of human feces and wastewater, which accumulates at the bottom of latrine pits and septic tanks. To durably improve living conditions in our cities, we must take into account the whole fecal sludge management value chain, from household management, collection, transportation, dumping, treatment, all the way to recovery. The objective of PSMV was to see how we could improve the assainissement autonomous. Donc c'était un projet pilote et les principales réalisations, ça permet de tirer les leçons pour montrer d'abord que nous avons une chaîne de valeur qui fonctionne correctement avec le PSMB, mais surtout qu'on peut développer l'assainissement autonome. Encore une fois, c'était un programme pilote. The private sector has an important role to play in the value chain set up by ONAS. Indeed, the collected sludge is transported from households to treatment plants where it's treated. The Dakar region alone has four fecal sludge treatment plants, all delegated to the private sector. The vision of the Lonas in the sector of the autonomous is to give the same quality of service for the collective collectif that we have in the villes que for the autonomous autonome that we find essentially in the centres peri-urbains. This vision can help us to achieve the DDC in the same quality of service and especially in the zones where there was no assainissement, there was no suivi. So, justement, it's this passage at l'échelle qui va démarrer à partir du mois de juin 2018 qui permettrait d'atteindre ça avec une forte implication d'autres partenaires. Convinced of the sector financial viability, Senegal introduced a series of processes to recover on-site sanitation subproducts and transform fecal sludge into energy, water and fertilizer. Le premier objectif c'est de mettre toutes les parties prenantes du projet autour d'une même vision, une vision commune qu'on a appelée la délégation de services publics de l'assistance autonome, la DS2. Le deuxième objectif, c'est d'impliquer fortement le secteur privé dans la matérialisation de cette vision. In 2018, after seven years of implementation, ONAS is now scaling up its pilot project to ensure greater reach into the country's urban centers. Through a greater involvement of the private sector, ONAS aims to move closer to its 2030 Sustainable Development Goals and ensure access to adequate and equitable sanitation and hygiene for all and end open defecation paying special attention to the needs of women and girls and those in vulnerable situations as stated in the Target 6.2.